Hello, it's Heather the Painter here. I'm going to go through a very quick tutorial about how to use the hand-painted backgrounds to add some different textures and layers of brush marks in your portraits. And you'll see this is straight image. Uh, I don't even think I retouched this one. So I've got my image at the very bottom. I have opened up one of my hand-painted backgrounds. I believe it was either 32 or 33. They're very similar. Once that was open, I dragged that over, and you'll see that I actually made it into a black and white layer. So make sure that you do that before dragging it. I set that to hard light at 100% opacity, so it kind of breaks up everything. You see those really cool, oily, greasy brush marks, and then that beautiful paper texture coming in. We have a little bit of almost like a wash or um, messy marks of a glaze. So then I took a copy of the background layer and set it on screen just so she can kind of come through a little bit. It pops the contrast and it lightens a little bit of everything. I took another copy of the background, set it to normal, and you'll see that I put just a little bit of a layer mask so we can reveal a bit of her face, her eyes, nose, and just a hint of the lips. If this, uh, if this layer were to be by itself, you can see how subtle this is. There we go. Next, I adjusted my curves just to pop that contrast, which came from my adjustment layer section. So we can open up curves and then pinch the uh, bottom. It would help if I opened up the right one. So when we open up curves, you can see that I just pinched what would normally be a very straight diagonal line as I pinched the bottom part. So it darkens those deep tones. Then I took another background and I believe this is my hand painted... Oh, it's here somewhere. Let's see. I believe it's one of the bonus backgrounds. Um, it's either 84 or 85. You'll have to forgive me because I made these a couple months ago. Um, so taking one of those, I set that one to hard light at about 57%. So you can see that it adds a little bit more of that distressed, um, slightly raised, cracked paint texture. We'll hide this. So starting from the bottom again, hard light, screen, normal, a little bit of curves, hard light, and then I made another copy of the background, set it to normal at only 18%, just so again, I can go ahead and just pop a little bit of that texture or pop a little bit of that detail. If I were to adjust it, you can see I can hide and reveal, again, with a, a very soft brush, one of the basic ones that comes with Photoshop, nothing fancy. Up here, I took my hardness down to zero, so it's a soft brush and I'm just hiding and revealing certain aspects. So if this layer were to stand on its own, you can see it's barely there. So that is a very simple way with very minimal layer masking to create a one-of-a-kind sellable art piece. Please visit www.heatherthepainter.com for more tips and tutorials.